welcome to Saptarishi's astrology channel. My name is Rishi and today I'll be teaching you how to add subtitles or captions to YouTube videos. The reason we suggest for using YouTube's captioning service over other kind of services or softwares for adding subtitles is that YouTube has an inbuilt project management system. You might have often noticed that the administrators of the YouTube page keep commenting that uh, a lot of people have been working on the same video which eventually results in duplication of work. Now that is a terrible waste of time and resource for everyone. To avoid that what YouTube has done is that if certain number of people are already contributing to a particular video it will not allow others to do the same work. It will allow them to review the work but that also tells the administrator of the YouTube channel that which videos are getting contributed or worked upon so they can allocate the work much more efficiently to all the volunteers. Why do, I, why do I recommend that everyone should contribute to uh, subtitles? Well, if you understand Hindi and if you understand English perfectly well, then it's very good for you. But the thing is, the more you work, the more you translate. What I have felt personally is that uh, to translate a video, say a half an hour video, it usually takes two and a half hours to two hours depending on uh, your speed and how much have you worked on this uh, YouTube's captioning service. The thing is that I have learned that to review a video I have to listen to it at least a couple of times, fix it, go back again, review the whole thing again and then read the full transcript before I submit it for approval. Which makes sure that I really go through the video in depth. I listen to each and every line and I do not miss on any other part. We'll go to how do you can how do you start work on this thing? So you can see the Saptarishi's Astrology's login page right now. You are at the main home page of YouTube channel. Make sure that you are logged in. Here you can see that I'm logged in right over here. So and now you can choose the video which you would want, which you would wish to translate. Uh, for that let's take an example of let's choose any video. I've been working on a couple of videos. Uh, for example sake only, I'll be taking the video, let's say, of Mr. Sunil Gezaz, amazing teacher and he has provided a lot of uh, good work on uh, teaching astrology. Uh, but as you might have noticed that he speaks in Hindi only and um, considering the kind of knowledge he has offered, it's a shame that people who speak English only or do those who do not understand Hindi are unable to understand him. So before we start adding subtitles, it's a good idea to check maybe the subtitles are already added to the video. For that, you can see closed captions and subtitles. You can click on it and it will show you if there are any subtitles available. It says Portuguese auto-generated subtitles which are no use to us and most probably are wrong also, so just ignore it. So for now, you see this setting icon or that gear, small gear icon over there. Click on it. It will show you subtitles say is Portuguese auto-generated, we are not interested in that, so we'll click, click on it and then go to on top, add subtitles. When you click on it, it will open a new page where it will ask you to select the language. I'm using English, please use English and try avoid using English United Kingdom. It Some people get confused on that, so we just stick with English. You can choose any other language if you want to translate the video to. So let's say you are very good in Marathi or Gujarati or any other language from Hindi. You can translate the video. You can click here, search other 182 other languages, and you can choose the language you wish. For now, we'll go with English. Click on it. It will reload the page, and it will give you something like this. So now what it allows you to do is, now there are three ways to contribute subtitles here. Number one is you directly typing the subtitles over the videos. And number two is if you click see this button over here called Actions, and you click on it, it will say, upload a file. So just for info, just for a demonstration purpose, I have a file. I'll click upload. You can say sub transcripts not supported for English. You'll say subtitles file. Click browse. And uh, then you can choose the file you want to upload. Make sure that the file ends with dot SRT or dot SUB format. If you're not very familiar with the file formats and, uh, and uh, I mean if you do not understand these formats, I will strongly suggest that we go with YouTube's captioning service. So anyway, we'll choose, for example, the SRT file, click open, and then you can just upload the file. I'm not going to upload it because I've already 
suggested because this file is not for that but that was just a demonstration so you can click upload the file will get uploaded here uh, the idea is that captions should appear when the person is speaking so if you are only uploading a text file which has been converted into SRT without a timestamp so let's discuss what are timestamps timestamps basically tell YouTube when to display the video and when to st when to display the text sorry and when to stop displaying it uh, so if you if your file is not timestamped you will only have like a general paragraph information on every screen and it will not be synced to the video uh, that is what we wish to avoid so in this case I'm canceling this upload but if you have the proper file you can simply upload it let's say you prefer to use some other software uh, so you can make it there and then you can upload it here uh, although I would still suggest that you use YouTube service only it's better this way uh, we can make a, we can have a better control on who is contributing what which videos are getting worked upon rather than many people working on the same thing and then you know just wasting of resources so for now I'm canceling it so to begin with a uh, small tip here it says pause video while typing I prefer to uncheck this option because uh, it's easier for me to let's say listen to something for a while as long as I wish and then I pause the video and then I translate the whole thing the uh, if you keep that option checked the thing is the moment you touch or start typing anything it will pause the video it might work for some people so it's your choice you can decide whether you will like it that way so you can listen to something then manually pause the video or listen or just start typing in the video will pause itself uh, so we'll just start with for example we'll type the intro music with the starting introduction of the video file type this press enter it will transfer the file and you, you'll notice that YouTube moves in two second formats increments basically which are too low most of the time see uh, the task of translation is not simply or making captions is not simply just translating exactly verbatim what one person is saying on the video we have to summarize also and not to mention that there are times when a person is repeating himself just to you know drive home a point there's no need to translate in my opinion the whole thing again and again and again because uh, the people who are reading it online might just get confused because you you just said it and you are again saying the whole thing again so you know it's better this way so what we do now is uh, if you notice it is a two second increment over here so zero is the minute the double zero is the uh, the second and the zero is like the sub second basically so what I do is I will let press shift and spacebar so the video starts playing you can see in the bottom you will notice over here you will notice the bar graph what the bar graph does is actually shows when th the audio is going to start as you can see now that the audio is about to begin we are I just paused the video here and now I'll go and I'll see that the last stop I paused it at is 006 seconds you see 006 over here so that means the intro music was till 006 I'll go and change it to 006 click there again and then click back here the video goes to the same point where you started we press shift and space again we'll listen to him the teacher for a while So as we just heard that he said that we are going to begin with the fourth uh, zodiac sign and but before we move any forward I want to remind you now in this thing you can type you just paused here you can type all of this once you are done remember the point you have paused at which is 0115 so you'll just go here change it to 15 and then type your video you know type your description over here and then move on with that uh, what must be remembered is uh, the learner teacher here is, is standing and he is giving a speech. Uh, the, what is written on the board is barely visible. Do remember that the people who are watching the video may not be able to, you know, even understand what's written on the board, but the person will be constantly referring to the board. Keep that in mind when you are translating the videos. Try to explain what's written on the board also in your language, but also keep in mind that your subtitles do not start going till half or or, three or start covering three-fourth of the of the screen size because once you're running these uh, videos you don't want your text to cover something important going on in the screen so let's say there is a video on which someone is showing a currently in a zoom you don't want your text to be so high that on the screen that it kind of just fills up the whole thing so in that always make sure that you keep some space you 
I think it's a good idea that if you make sure that your text does not cross as like one fourth something of the of the full screen size over here. So that is my approach to it. I try to summarize information as much as I can without losing the gist of the video. You do not want your users only to give them bullet points. They should understand the discussion which is going on. So having said that, you will do a couple of titles like this till the end. You go on, keep typing. So you will say like what we just discussed. So as the learner teacher said, uh, I'll just try to we will be discussing about cancer sign in this video. But before moving forward and so on. So once I press enter, this will go there and you can see that the video is covering till this point. I press shift and space again and the video starts again and then I'll again listen to what is being said, pause it and then move on to the next line. So you keep typing and you keep on going like this. A uh, good thing in YouTube is that once you are done, let's say you don't want to keep, you know, changing the time code over here again and again. It's I, I know it's kind of annoying sometimes that, and I wish YouTube will allow us to change the number of seconds it moves. But if you notice, it moves from 15 to 17 by default, which is two second settings. As of now, I am not aware of any other man, man manner to change this from two seconds to 10 seconds or something like that. If and on we come across, we'll let you know. But till then, it's a better idea to go on with um, as the way, you know, to to listen for some time and then change it. What you can do is uh, you can, you know, just keep typing. So you see this, this sound graph over here, which is showing the, you know, the, the voice frequency over there. Uh, you'll see these two lines. You can slide them backward and forward to tune them more with what was being exactly said on the TV, on the, on the screen right now. So that is another way to handle it. You can change it right at the time when you are typing it. Or you can type the whole thing, you know, at your pace and then go back and just drag and fix these things. Um, now that we have covered two ways to contribute subtitles, which is the direct contribution where you type directly what is being said. And the other one is uploading a file if you already have a SRT file made in some other software and you can upload the file over here. Once you, once after you have, you after you are done with all of this and you have finished all the subtitling and you just, you know, go through and review that there are no spelling mistakes you know, proper grammar has been observed as much as possible. Uh, you can see this button over here which says Submit for Review. Once you click on it, it will give you two options. It says, are the subtitles done? And you say, no, let others keep working on them. So if you're not finishing the work right now, you can click this. If there are other team members who are working on the work, or on the, on the video, they can come and, you know, finish the work. And uh, if you think you've finished the whole thing, you can just simply say, yes, they are ready to be reviewed. And then you can choose credit my contribution. So if you tick this box, uh, the publisher of the video, the administrator of the YouTube channel has a authority. They can give the credit of your work to you. So your name will be displayed at the bottom of it. Uh, once you're done, you can click submit. Once you submit, there's nothing more to, to be done here. The video will go to the administrator of the YouTube page. Uh, they will review it, they can publish it from that point onwards, or if there are changes, they might come back to you, or they can change it themselves also. So you do your submit button and then you're back from here. Now, to take an example of how you can review someone else's work, which is already either published or is under work. So I've taken an example of Prashna Kundali with Sunil Gaizas in the lecture, master lecture. You will see that the subtitles aren't on, so I'll click on this. It will say, English subtitles. I turn it the video on for a while. The video start. Here you are. So it says like you know now you can see that the subtitles and titles are available over here. But let's say you feel that um, there's something else you can add to the video, or uh, there are some mistakes in the subtitles you have observed. So you can click on settings again. You'll go to English. You'll choose uh, Upshirzak Joni, which is basically add subtitles. You click on the add subtitles button over there. Again, back to this, you'll choose English. It says published. If you notice, it says published already. So you can still click on it and uh, we just load it and there you are. So it is now showing that says this is the latest community version, but there is an error on line number 1453. Okay, fine. So you just scroll down, you'll say, like you'll see the whole transcript, which says, you know, kindly bear with me with my Hindi, subjugan, Prashna. 
lots of things like this but uh, you know there could be like for example you just notice uh, this means there there's a spelling mistake over here simple thing you want to fix it not to be nitpicky but just saying you want to fix something you can click on it and once you have done that change again you can say submit for review it will say note these subtitles need to be reviewed by others all right so you can say again say credit there's no need for that i mean it's the other person has done it so you what what's the point so anyways you can cancel it there so this was an example of how you can review someone else's work or you can add upon their work if there is anything once you are done with all of this i will just want to show you there's a button called keyboard shortcuts you can click on it it will show you easy ways to move and forward in a video in easy ways to add a pause and or add a new line and uh, apart from that as i said the easy tips are summarize try to keep the you can see the height over here of the subtitle this is all right this is fine but try not that it goes try that it doesn't process like the 3/4 or more than half of the screen since there is nothing right now on the screen which is of importance to the viewer this is fine but if there is a currently being displayed over there try to keep the total height of the video of the caption down apart from that we discussed the submitting of the captions now there's something called a contributor page uh the thing how to go there you can click on your um, icon which is your login icon you can click on something called a creator studio click on it and uh, once you click on it it will show you on the left hand side something called your contributions click on your contributions and it will show you all the subtitles you have contributed till date and what is their current status so you can see that i have uh, contributed these subtitles and uh, most of them are published i have two subtitles which are still pending which so it is submitted but still under review once these are done they will be changed their status to publish uh, i will get the credit for the work i'm doing over here so my name gets shown over there the if there is any work which you have paused and you have not finished you can find that work in drafts so you click on the drafts over there and you will see that these videos are over here um i plan to work on some of them and some of them i just added them because i was trying them out so i'm just going to go and delete my contributions on these lines uh to do that you go and go to actions again and you can say discard edit it will show that you sure you want to do that because then you cannot fix it again just click discard edits again back to your contributions okay so coming back to the contribution page going back to the draft similarly you can delete the videos which you don't want to work on anymore or someone else is already working on it um that is the easy way of doing subtitles again as i said now i'm not an administrator of the youtube page so i do not know how it looks like to an administrator when they are working or when they are watching their uh, you know videos that who is contributing what but at least i can tell you that uh, i know that they can see a small icon with a head over there showing that there are some people who are working on this video to make captions or something so it does helps in controlling the workflow it helps in avoiding any duplicacy and uh, definitely helps in also giving you the credit for the work you have done So thank you very much for watching this video and uh, contributing to the channel. I'm sure you'll understand that it's a great channel and it should get all the help it can. Thank you very much once again for watching. Have a good day.